All right, wanted to do a video on this. Just found this really shocking. I uh, read this article. I came across this article, and it just shows how wicked the Jesuit order is, and how wicked the kind of wickedness that goes on inside the Jesuit order. It says here, a famed Jesuit priest and convicted pedophile who was once the Mother Teresa's spiritual advisor abused a boy he recruited as his child valet more than 1,000 times across the world. I mean, you want to talk about disgusting. That's, I mean, just, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not at a loss for words. Robert Goldberg, now 61, claims he suffered from, psych from years of psychological control and sexual abuse while working as a child valet for the late Reverend Donald McGuire. Uh, Goldberg first came out into contact with McGuire back in 1970 when he was 11 years old in Chicago, filed a lawsuit in California on Monday. He said he was so caught up with the Jesuit thrall for nearly 40 years that even uh, he even volunteered to testify on McGuire's behalf during the criminal trials. Those trials um, resulted in a 25-year prison sentence for the priest. 25 years? I mean, really? The guy should have got the death penalty. The the wicked Jesuit priest. You know, and they call themselves the Society of Jesus. No, this, they're the Society of Satan. Uh, Roman Catholicism is the seat of Satan on Earth. The lawsuit ch uh, charges McGuire abused him more than 1,000 times during sojourns and spiritual retreats throughout the U.S. and Europe. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these uh, spiritual retreats and all this other stuff in these uh, Bible camps and everything. You gotta watch out for that. A globe taught me already read that. Um, Goldberg says he's not, fi not finally now broken the hold McGuire once had on him. The lawsuit charges that McGuire, a globe totting Jesuit priest with ties to St. Teresa of Calcutta, I guess that's it, abused Goldberg more than 1,000 times in multiple states and countries during sojourns and spiritual retreats throughout the U.S. and Europe. All the while, the suit says, the boy carried his briefcase, ran errands, and often endured daily abuse that included sexual touching. I'm not going to read that. Pretty vexing. But to go into sexual stuff. That's that's the kid or the all gr kid all grown up now. Sorry, my my throat. I'm, I'm a bit sick right now. The lawsuit doesn't currently name any defendants, but Goldberg's attorneys say the defendants will r include the Jesuit religious order, yeah, the Society of Satan, the U.S. and order's top leader in Rome, the Black Pope. Yeah, he's he's black. He's gonna you know, he's gonna. I mean, again, I'm at a loss for words right now, but uh, he's black in the sense that he's dark. He's wicked. The Black Pope is the servant of Sa is probably the best servant of Satan on, on Earth, among others. They also say that Goldberg's abuse occurred uh, during occurred at a time when powerful church officials, including Mother Teresa, who was elevated to uh, who elevated to sainthood by Pope Francis three years ago, knew that McGuire had been repeatedly accused of sexually abusing boys. So, I, I think about the sainthood thing in the Catholic Church. According to the Bible, we're all saints. All believers are saints. It, it's not like this special. A class or whatever, like you have to get elevated to the status or whatever, all believers are saints. And of course, like with all cases, the uh, Church of Christ, the so-called Christ Church, church officials went great to great lengths to cover up his crimes, the suit alleges. I mean, really. If I mean, again, if you're a Catholic, if your church is supposedly Christ Church, um, why is your church covering up? I mean, why is your church not only is this going on constantly, they're covering it up too. I mean, how is this Christ Church? It is not. This is Satan's seat on earth. The Roman Catholic Church was started by Satan, not Christ. The Roman Catholic Church is simply just a perversion of biblical Christianity. Church of Atlanta. In nearly two decades since the clergy scandal erupted, thousands of survivors have stepped forward to tell their painful stories. Part of the reason why this goes on is the celibate priests, which is a violation of scripture, and the, uh, the, the confessional booth, which is also a violation of scripture. Because you're telling your dirty secrets to an to a, a unmarried priest. Kind of a problem. And it never ends well. Hundreds of, uh, more revealed their abuse in lawsuits earlier when the state of New York opened a one-year window that allows survivors to file child sex abuse lawsuits without regard to the statute of limitations. More including uh, Goldberg are expected to step forward as a similar window opens January 1st in California. You know, absolutely disgusting. The, the Jesuit order is wicked beyond, um, beyond, beyond imagine. Let's get into some scripture real quick. Uh, just, I don't know. Uh, Revelation 18.5, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. God has not forgotten the iniquities and wickedness of the Jesuits and Roman Catholicism. Um, sorry, I'm losing my voice right now. Uh, at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble, God's going to destroy Mystery of Babylon, which is the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, no, doubt, no, doubt, no doubt about that. Roman Catholicism matches the description for Mystery of Babylon. So, I uh, just wanted to get that out there. I mean, just the wickedness of the Jesuit order knows no bounds. And the Jesuits, they rule over the kings of the earth. I mean, every world leader has to go and bow to the Antichrist Pope in Rome. 
So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism and keep exposing it. Us Bible believers, we need to keep exposing Roman Catholicism and its wickedness. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.